All right. <laughs> we can uh, remember anything about where we left off. <laughs> October 19, 9.42 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Hmm. Hmm. Um, Mr. Riot? Yes? Why, why do you look so unhappy? Oh. Oh, nothing. <laughs> really, it's nothing. Right, Mia? Oh, she looks even unhappier. Phoenix. Your client is now practically a dead man walking. Perhaps that's why I feel particularly close to him. This is no time for dead people jokes, please. I knew we're going into this trial utterly defenseless. Yet, if Mr. Powers is truly innocent, we should be able to find something overlooked in the evidence to prove it. Something overlooked. We have to find something, Phoenix, today. It's that or lose the trial. This isn't going to be easy. <laughs> October 19, 10 a.m. District Court, Courtroom Number 4. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Very well. Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. An unexpected fact has come to the attention of the court. Yesterday, we learned that there were other people present at the studios. Today, I would like to show evidence proving they had nothing to do with the murder. Very well. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. I wonder if it'll be that producer. The prosecution calls Mr. Sal Mandela to the stand. Or that director. <laughs> Will the witness state his name and profession? Mm. How rude can you get? Don't know me? Director, I meant to steal Samurai New. Ruffle. Hmm. Sal Manella, I'm a director. Television. Were you at Global Studios on the day of the murder? Yes, Your Honor. Hmm. Very well. Please testify to the court about the events of that day. Phoenix. Let's start by picking this testimony apart. If Powers is innocent, you know what that means. Someone in the trailer on that day did it. Right. Doesn't waste any time putting on the pressure. <laughs> All right. Day of the murder. I was at the studios from around nine that morning. During the morning, I was doing, um, an action scene run through. It took a lot more time than I thought it would. Oh. I hear that everyone else ate lunch in the employee area. I had a meeting in Studio 2 trailer, so I ended up skipping lunch. We were in the meeting until around 4 o'clock. During the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs. That's about it. Hmm. The time of Mr. Hammer's death was 2.30 p.m. And according to your testimony, you were in a meeting at, the at that time? Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Huh. Okay, so what do I have as far as evidence is concerned? Because... Um... 2.30. Number 2. I had mapped them or the weapon. The sleeping pills. The monkey's head blocked the path. Mm-hmm. Took a lot more time than I thought it would. Really. 
You don't want to mention that, uh... Why? Why did it go on so long? Um, I'm pretty sure you've already heard about this. But WP twisted his ankle during the run-through, see? Oh, right. That's the limp. Which, of course, led to me missing my lunch. Ruffs! Ruffs? <laughs> Rolling on the floor, starving. Okay, so... Get lunch. What? So in the end, you didn't get to eat. Yeah, no steak at least. Can you believe it? That must have been tough. Phoenix. Yeah? Doesn't something about that seem odd to you? Contradictory, but ye back, back, back! You know that he. Yeah, he was eating. Yeah, it does seem odd now that you mention it. Mr. Manella. <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> when I went to Studio 2, I saw something on the table there. There were two plates, the same kind of plates as the one in the employee area. Who ate lunch there? <laughs> oh, uh, uh, mm, <laughs> good call. <laughs> I was embarrassed, so I didn't mention it. But I did eat, after all. <laughs> a T-bone steak, you mean? Yeah, well, I mean, the assistant went through all that trouble. I brought it to the trailer, thinking I could eat it later. Clearly a man who likes to eat. I'd suspect it as much. So, when exactly did you eat it? I took one break during their meeting. I, uh, wolfed it down then. <laughs> a mental image I will carry with me to my grave. Wait a second. If they took a break in that meeting, that contradicts his testimony. Press on that one a bit more. We didn't skip lunch. Before, during the meeting, well, I'm pretty sure no one left their chairs, but... You just said. You didn't take a single break. Uh, well, yeah, not a one. <laughs> hmm. What's he sweating so much about, I wonder? If only I had an idea. Wait, wait a second. Maybe I do have an idea. Press harder. We know what happened. Wait a second. Mr. Manella, you've just contradicted yourself. Didn't you just tell the court that you ate that T-bone steak during a break? <laughs> well? Um... Mr. Manella, what's all this about? Well, yeah, I guess we did take a little break. Phoenix, great job! If they took a break, one of them could have gone to the studio during that time. Your Honor? I call on the witness to testify to the court about this break. Very well. Mr. Manella, your testimony, please. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, Edgeworth is laughing. The break. Yeah, for what's worth, we took a break, Raffle. It was only 15 minutes. 15! That's only 13 in base 12. Not enough time for someone to say commit murder in Studio One, <laughs> lol. That's only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it would even be enough time for that, but that's just me. Very well, you may begin the cross-examination. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, take a break. Only 15 minutes. Not enough time for some... I don't know, are you sure? Why is that? Uh, 
only just enough time to eat a T-bone steak if you ask me. I have to say, you look like a guy who gets through his meals pretty fast. I was facing a cold, slightly chewy T-bone steak. Even I have to take my time eating that kind of food. Come on. Well, Phoenix? That testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. Oh, great. Is that all? Okay. Wait. I mean, we only have it be 15 minutes, or 30 minutes between that and that. Was it really only 15 minutes? <laughs> what were you doing for those 15 minutes? Eating my T-bone steak, what else? There were two plates on that table. Oh, right, the other one was Diva's. Sorry, Diva's Kez plate. Diva's Kez, the producer. To eat a T-bone steak in 15 minutes, that's quite a feat. So D also was on a break. We, we took a break. What time exactly did you take this break? Hmm. I'd say it was from around 2.30 or so until 2.45. 2.30? That's, that's that time of death. So he could have gone to Studio One, killed Hammer, and come back. No, he couldn't have because of the thing. I guess it's possible, time-wise. Hmm. Well, he knows. Not. Because... Because of this. The path to see to the crime is blocked. Hmm. What can I? Um. Yeah, I don't think I can do anything else with that. Not really. No, Phoenix. Testimony was too short to wring any kind of useful information out of. All you have to do is prove that he was able to go to Studio One in that time. All right, is that all? I mean, okay. So how can can I do that would show it? But it wasn't him. I mean, we... Objection! Why am I objecting with that? Your Honor, that statement contradicts this evidence, it doesn't. Hmm? It does? I don't see anything contradictory. Huh? Really? Objection overruled. Try to think before you make accusations, Mr. Wright. Okay. Whoops. That didn't go so well. Okay. Y'all took a break. 2.30. At 2.30. Which also means that if they were in the photo... Yeah, I can't... It's really only 15 minutes. Deep ass kids. Well, what was she doing? Hold it. 
Why is that? Yeah, okay. Haven't we had enough of this pointless line of questioning? Your Honor. The testimony to this point has made one certain fact painfully clear. The people in the trailer had nothing to do with this murder. It was impossible for any of them to go to Studio One. What? Something wrong, Mr. Wright? Surely you aren't suggesting one of the people in the trailer went to Studio One? Hmm. Well, Mr. Wright? Phoenix, this is critical. Think about it before you give your answer. Do you claim someone from the trailer went to Studio One? No, it's impossible. I don't want to write off so many possible suspects, but I can't keep claiming the impossible either. I agree that it was impossible for anyone in the trailer to go to the studio in that time. Haha. <laughs> I thought you might be thoughtlessly treading on thin ice again. But I see you had at least an inkling of the truth. What do you mean, Mr. Edgeworth? It's quite simple. True, the break in the trailer meeting came right at the time of death. However, the path from there to the scene of the crime was blocked. The fallen Ms. Monkey head barred the way, Ms. Monkey? At around 2.15, a strong gust of wind knocked off the studio mascot's head. There go. When the people in the trailer took a break at 2.30, the way to the studio was blocked. Blocked by Ms. Monkey's, Mrs. Monkey's severed head. Actually, Mr. Monkey, but Edgeworth has a point. And somehow I feel no desire to correct him. I believe we've seen enough evidence. I would like to relieve Mr. Manella from the stand. What? Well, it's over. Very well. The court's opinion on this case is as follows. We have found that there were several other people in Studio 2 on the day of the murder. However, it is also clear that none of these people could have gone to Studio One. They therefore have no relation to this case. Furthermore, with regards to the photo of the Steel Samurai, given the size of the costume, no one other than Mr. Powers could have worn it that day. All that is lacking is decisive evidence that he is the one who did it. If we had that, I'm afraid I would have to find Mr. Powers guilty. Your Honor, the prosecution is pleased to announce that we indeed have decisive evidence. A witness. Who is this up? Witness, Mr. Edgeworth. My witness saw the very moment when the Steel Samurai skewered the victim. Order. I will have order. I see. The court will take a ten minute recess after which we will hear your witness. Court is adjourned for recess. <laughs> number 19, 11.04 a.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 1. Hmm. Well, what do we do now, Mia? If everyone in that trailer has an alibi... Well, we haven't even checked everyone else's! We haven't talked to... D? Hmm. I'm sorry, Phoenix. I guess I was wrong. Mia? Don't tell me you're giving up. If you give up, what hope do I have? Hmm. Don't get me wrong. I've never given up on a trial before, not while there was a chance. Only one thing became clear in your cross-examination. The people in the trailer could not have gone to Studio One. I thought there was more to it than that. But I was wrong. That's all there is. Um... Uh, what's going to happen to me? It kind of seems like everyone in that courtroom thinks I did it. They think I'm a murderer. Don't worry, Mr. Powers. <clears throat> if you're innocent, we will prove it. I guarantee you. Right. <laughs> <clears throat> Leave it to us and be yourself. Be strong. You are the Steel Samurai, here are the children everywhere after all. I... You... Thanks. Okay, Phoenix. This one's for the kids. Let's do it. 